In this video, I'm gonna show you how I save thousands of dollars every year by being a financial minimalist. And trust me, it's not from doing any extreme stuff like not using toothpaste or by using organic toilet paper. But I will show you the big decisions that I have made that hopefully will help you guys save a little extra money too in case you wanna also become a financial minimalist. Hi, my name is Fly Stewie. This is the Uneducated Investor Podcast, the podcast where we connect investing to pop culture, baby. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. This is also an audio podcast, so feel free to subscribe onto Anchor, Apple Music, or wherever you listen to podcasts. And let's get better at investing, Flight Crew, together. So when it comes to the topic of how to be a financial minimalist and save thousands of dollars every year, I really have four main ideas that I've been using personally that I think would really help you, the flight crew. So the very first one is what makes you happy and how much does that cost? If I could make any saying in the world popular, it would definitely be this one. The biggest misconception in life is that we know ourselves. You need to really take the time and think about it and write it down. What makes me happy? Because if you can answer that in most situations, you can save a lot of money. For instance, if you are indifferent between a super expensive Chipotle with extra avocado meal that costs like $12, and you literally have the same happiness and satisfaction eating that $5 Subway meal every day for lunch, then guess what? You will save a lot of money over time by eating Subway over Chipotle or Tim Hortons I'm Canadian, yeah, Tim Hortons over Starbucks, or even making your own coffee over drinking Starbucks. Maybe you're someone who doesn't really care about phones, so you are just as happy using a flip phone over buying the newest, latest iPhone. Knowing exactly what makes yourself happy and what you are completely indifferent to buying is the essential goal of how to be a financial minimalist. It's all about knowing the things that you really want to spend money on, like maybe like extravagant vacations and the stuff that you really don't need to spend that much money on. Knowing exactly what makes you happy and what you're not buying for to impress someone else or what's really killing your funds over time is the essential key to being a very money savvy investing financial minimalist. Number two in Fly Stewie's keys to being a Fly Stewie financial minimalist is you gotta lower your fixed expense, baby. If you can lower the amount of reoccurring bills that you pay every month, then you can essentially have the lowest fixed expense in the world. So I obviously recommend getting on one of these budget managing apps such as mint.com or whatever bank you're using. I personally use mint and my bank. It really lets me know what I'm spending on each category every month. But lowering your fixed cost is the essential key to being a financial minimalist. Yamaste. So me personally, I've done this in a couple ways. The first is, you know, my job's in finance, so I had to move to the biggest city. And no matter what big city you move to, you know, whether it's New York, Toronto, Tokyo, London, no matter what big city you move to, you know it is extremely expensive to live there. I mean, the prices are whatever you want to pay. You are going to pay more to live in a smaller place. So me, I wanted to live the closest to downtown, the closest to the action and pay the cheapest costs as anyone would do. And what does that mean? Either you're gonna take a roommate or you're gonna live in a super small space. There's no way around this too. Me, I didn't want the roommate, so what I did is I took the smallest place where I could live by myself, but I have no roommates, no crazy um you know person that i'm sharing a room with and i chose a space where i could be by myself and save a little bit of money so that's what i did and although now i live in a place where every time i step out my door i might die i might get stabbed or shot which side note is the reason why i'm you know going hard on boxing every weekend you know i wish someone would try me and nah, I'm just joking. I, I completely suck at boxing. I, I I need professional help right now or I'll end up like Logan Paul.
Was that a shot? Was that mean to Logan Paul? Nah, I love Logan. I watch his videos all the time. Shout out my dude KSI. Anyways, other ways I do this is transportation. I do not own a car. Even when I lived far from work, I still didn't own a car. I took the bus. And now I work relatively close to where I live. So it takes me 30 minutes walk, or if I want to take the bus, I can as well. By buying a car, especially if you're paying car payments, but by buying a car, you're paying money in gas maintenance insurance it is so ridiculously expensive when you buy a car or you could ride the bus for 200 dollars a month or where how much it is wherever you live now of course depending on the city you live in maybe your bus system isn't that good so you need a car in that case just get a really cheap inexpensive inexpensive car but if you are someone like me who has to move to the main city honestly take the bus never buy a car and walk if you can use some pay as you go bus thing and walk as much as you can it'll keep you in shape you know get a bike if you need it'll keep you in shape and keep your costs low another cool thing i do to keep my lower molar my fixed cost is I cut my own hair now for me personally I was spending around anywhere from 40 to 80 dollars a month on haircuts and I just I just was sick of it man I didn't want to sit in line literally some days it would take like two to three hours just to sit in line and get my hair cut three hours of my life gone every week or every other week and I was tired of it, man. So, you know, some days I look completely terrible because I butcher, I absolutely just butcher my haircut every time. But I end up saving like so much money by the end of the year. Honestly, it's like around like six to eight hundred dollars when you really think about it. And it's fun because, you know, that one in ten time when I actually do a good job cutting my hair and I don't look like I ran into a lawnmower. You feel proud of yourself, man. You, you want to you wanna pat yourself on the back a little bit, you know? So those are some ways that I've actually lowered my fixed expenses. And, you know, there's still things I spend money on that are really expensive. You know, I spend money on my gym membership, which is like $30 a month, which is pretty expensive. But at the end of the day, it's all about being happy and knowing how much that costs. So, you know, if you're happy like me in a small, super small apartment where you could get shot or stabbed at any time, then I would recommend just doing that and saving yourself a little bit of money, baby. A number three on how to be a financial minimalist is hit that like button, baby. You save so much money, you get 10,000 years of good luck and $10,000 in your bank account every time you hit that like button. So hit that like button, write a comment. Let me know you've made it this far. I love your guys' faces. Number three on the uneducated investor playlist for best ideas to be a financial minimalist. And that is, you gotta know the future, man. You gotta be psychic. You gotta read minds. You gotta be Professor X. You gotta lose your legs. That's what it is, man. Legs are costing you a lot of money. Lose your legs. Now, when it comes to your 20s or 30s or 40s or 50s, you gotta know the big expenses within your age group that actually causes you to lose money or spend money way above your means. Now, one of those is if you get a girlfriend or boyfriend and they're not on your same financial page and they wanna spend a bunch of money and go on a bunch of dates or they just wanna to go to a bunch of expensive events and have a really expensive lifestyle, guess what? That is going to cause cost you a lot of money. So of course, when picking a significant other, other you wanna make sure they're on their same financial page weddings are another thing that are super expensive they can cost up to twenty thousand dollars or fifteen thousand dollars on average and some people even go out the box of chocolate and they spend like forty thousand dollars on a wedding they are extremely expensive not to mention divorce divorce realistically you lose like everything as a girl or guy because divorce lawyers are super expensive why do I get the feeling that all of these are about like significant others? Like, well, what, what are we doing here on the Uneducated Investor Podcast? Is this a dating show? Like, I don't even. If you move far away, you're gonna have to fly back to see your family on weekends and holidays. There's cars are super expensive. Your house can be super expensive. Knowing all these big, super expensive expenses that end up destroying people's wealth as they get older are things that you should really know and learn and know about knowing the pitfalls of whatever decade you're going into will save you so much money because you can make that decision for yourself if you want to spend the money rather than that huge expense just sneaking up on you because you thought the wedding was going to be eight thousand dollars and it ended up being fifteen thousand and the last but probably one of the best 
ideas about being a financial minimalist that really helps you save thousands of dollars every month is everything is an investment the best way to really save money truly is to make more money so even all of your most ridiculous purchases you need to really start to think to yourself you know how is this investment how is this benefiting me in the future so some ridiculous things that i've done is like i spend like 400 to 600 dollars on food like every month which just sounds like a ridiculous amount of money but when you really think about it it starts to justify itself by treating it as an investment you know instead of making cheap noodles and eating jamaican patties every lunch i like to eat something healthy like i like a little bit of subway here and there that way i'm investing in my health so i can live longer i like to go on a lot of dates whether that's with my boys or girl you know you you want to experience things because going on places where you can go and eat with their friends and chat with these are experiences that you can't really you know get back in life so personally, I don't mind spending money when I'm with friends to eat food because they lead to great times and great memories. And, you know, as you get older, it's harder to really meet up with your friends as much or family. And nothing says, you know, it's a great time, like eating some nice good old chicken wings or beer or alcohol. If you see one of my last videos about my Apple iPhone that I just bought, I just bought the newest iPhone. You know, when it comes to investing, this looks like a terrible investment. You're spending like $2,000 on a phone that's only going to be good for what, two years, three years tops if you're not trying to upgrade. But me as an investor, like there's a lot of things that you could do to really value the company, value a stock. You know, a lot of people, they like to do look at the cash flow statements or they like to do a discounted cash flow analysis or they like to compare the P.E. ratios among companies. But when it comes to these growth companies that grow bigger and bigger, like Apple, Facebook, Amazon, you can't look at their financial metrics to really understand the company. And the best way to, I mean, for me to understand Apple, which is a company that I think is going to do phenomenal and they've just been exploding if you look at their last quarter's earning. The best way is not by doing the financial analysis, it's by realistically buying the latest iPhone and understanding what it is to be an Apple user and why all of these people are attracted to this company. And trust me, after buying the iPhone, I realized that, you know, some Android users might switch to an iPhone, but no iPhone user is ever probably going to switch to the Android. It is a feeling of its own when you buy an iPhone and only by buying an iPhone, you can really understand what it's all about and what the company is all about. And another ruthless, ridiculous, like the old fly Stewie would never do this is I spent like a thousand dollars and got one of those new moose knuckle jackets which you're probably thinking a thousand dollars a jacket that, that's a ridiculous price like how does that even make sense but for me realistically i think to myself i hate winter i live in canada so if you live in the states or somewhere you think you got bad winters our winters are freaking ridiculous man our winters are terrible man they're, they're disgusting like like i wasn't made to live in snow. I was not. I need to be somewhere tropical. It makes my skin glow. Our winters are disgusting, man. Like, like I want to literally jump off a bridge just because for that five seconds of pain on the ground, I'm not feeling the cold. I'm only feeling my broken limbs. And with our winters being so terrible, the only thing that could get me through it is by buying a duck filled moose knuckle jacket that feels like a santa claus hug every time you put it on it's like it's holding you telling you that it needs you it cares about you it believes in you and that's why i spent all that money and every morning i get up and put on that moose knuckle i feel like a whole different machine man like it's like changing your oil of your tires you're just ready to go and go and go and as ridiculous as that sounds that's kind of how i feel Maybe give me a month as it wears off and I think about to myself like I'm a terrible human being for spending that much money. But until then, I stick to the fact that buying it was a great investment. And of course, if you treat everything that you buy as investments, then maybe those things are really good for you and they can pay off in the long term. It'll put you in the mindset that you can become a fly stewie financial minimalist.
Mlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlmlm